Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about WE magazines. Uh, specifically, we're going to be comparing the XM177 or really the Vietnam style 20 round magazine that comes with your um, WE jet gas blowbacks and compare that to a version 2 uh, 30 round magazine right here. Uh, this is a version 2 because it says so on the eVikes website, e website when I bought it, but also you can verify uh, because down here, you'll, I took off the base plate, and so you'll notice that it has the little bolt, the screw right here. And the version 1 does not, so that's how you know it's a version 1 or version 2. Anyway, it looks to me that, you know, intuitively you would think that this one has more, uh, has a larger, probably has a larger reservoir, and so it probably should hold more gas than the 20 round mag. But I've kind of noticed something that's different when I've been shooting, so let's get to the bottom of this. So. We know the version 2 mags are better than the version 1, there's more gas efficiency. But is it really better than the Vietnam or the 20 round straight mags? Let's find out. This is kind of an interesting thing right here. These two Tupperware containers right here um, actually represent the volume of the volume, the gas reservoir essentially in these two mags. This one right here belongs to the WE, uh, 30 round mag right here. Uh, now this isn't like super scientific, these are just from my launches, but as you can see right here, it goes up to between 75 and 25. So really it comes down to about maybe 30 or 40 mLs, okay, and that's for the, the mag, 30 round mag right here. For the 20 round mag, look how much is in here. It's actually a little bit more. Um, again, it kind of fills up to, you probably can't see that. But it fills up to about 40 to 45, maybe even 50 mLs. Not very scientific. Um, maybe it's a margin of differences in terms of what I'm collecting them, but they're equal. Or if not, this one, the 20 round mags might have more volume. So that's kind of interesting, I think. Um, you would think that, you know, this is larger. Anyway, that's just one component of it, and we're going to get more into the shooting test and filling in a little bit. But I just want to show you on the inside. So I've already taken these apart, but if you notice right here, uh, this is the magazine for the 20 round mag. You'll notice that it's a it's a light on that to show you more. So uh, let's see here. Notice how it's a just like your standard GBV or your uh, pistol mags, gas mags, it's a solid metal body shell with that actually contains the gas. Whereas if you look at the 30 round mag right here, again I've already taken it apart, so it's going to be a lot e really easy to take it to show you. But um, if you took out the 30 round mag, this is actually just a case, it's an empty case that stores it. This is what it's really housing on the inside. This is the mag. Um, and so, honestly, I'm a bigger fan of this one. This looks like it has a lot more gas, uh, a res larger gas reservoir than this one, and that probably explains part of it, how um, the way it's designed. I, I think it's just easier to fill it more in this one than it is this one. But that's one part of it. So um, let me go and cut to the next segment where we're going to be talking a little bit more about um, the shooting and filling of it. All right, let's see here. Alright, so now that we have that out of the way, let's try to actually see how much we can actually fill these and how long it takes to fill them um, before we do some shooting tests to see for actual, you know, efficiency when you're, when, where it matters. Um, so I had, I tried recording this earlier and I, it was fine with this one, but then this one started leaking out on the front. So um, let me try, I tried to fix it, hopefully that will help a little bit and we'll see if we have any issues now. Um, this is the second time I'm doing this, so let's see here. I'm going to try to fill this mag right now, and let's see how long it takes. Last time it took about roughly, uh, it was like six, sec six, seven seconds to fill. Let me see if I can replicate that again. All right, that's about 19 seconds right there. Okay, that's a lot different from how I got it the first time. So maybe there was a little bit something left. Um, or maybe that could have been some of the water that was still in there when I was doing the test. Um, but uh, that sounds about right. Um, 
Okay, so that's one set right there. Let's see how we can fill this one now. All right. Let's try this. Hopefully this doesn't leak. If not, well, we're going to do the best we can do. About 28 seconds. Um, so, yeah, a little bit longer. Um, so, sound. If it seems like when it's filling, it's taking more time to fill this mag than this mag. So, contrary to the water volume that we saw, um, it would suggest that these mags um, do hold more gas. All right. So, those are kind of conflicting information. Let's see what really matters is in terms of to the average player is like how much do you actually get when you're firing these. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to do a full auto test on these and see how many of them, uh, how long does this last compared to this one. Okay. And uh, the reason why I have to do full instead of STEMI is because uh, my gas blowback rifle, for some reason, it's starting to, when I'm trying to fire semi-auto um, frequently, it was going to switch into burst mode and fire a couple burst rounds. So it's hard for me to control for that. So the best way to control that for me is just to keep things in full auto. And then um, it'll be a lot faster to get this test completed um, when you're doing that. So this is here, 15 rounds right here. Let's see here. How long does that take? Set. Okay. And by the way, when I'm filling these mags, I'm just stopping once I stop hearing any uh, noises. Uh, as long as that's the case, I count that as a mag being full. So, let's see here. Alright, so that's 30 rounds right there. Alright, let's see, uh, where's the... Alright, let's give this a shot and see how many rounds we can get out of this one right here. Alrighty. Okay. Full auto. Keep that on frame. Okay. So that's one magazine right there. Um, shoot, I didn't really record the time. So we're going to have to see, check that on the replay uh, when I'm doing the video editing to see how long that lasted for. Um, now let's try it again with the 20 round mag and see if there's a difference. Um, Same thing again. Get that on frame. Now, I haven't compared that in the footage yet to during the, um, I don't have any timers for that, but it does seem like the 20 round mag here fires a lot more um, and it's a lot more efficient than uh, this one right here. Okay, let's see if it's completely out. Yep. Yeah, this one was completely out. Yeah, they're both completely out. So it seems to me that this one is just more efficient, gas efficient wise. Uh, we'll get the exact timing in a little bit once we do the video editing between them. Now, um, so that's, that's, there we have it. That's what I've noticed from these two mags. Um, what else can I say about them? Let's see here. Um, so that's something new that I've noticed. Um, I think that's really it. Uh, I'll let you folks know if there's any more. And um, so it just seems to me that yes, the version two is more fish gas efficient. We've seen some tests on YouTube where the version one was significantly worse. But when you're comparing it to the 
straight mags, the waffle, or not the waffle, sorry, the Vietnam style straight mag, this seems to perform a lot better. Um, so that's, that's, that's what we have so far. More volume in terms of water, the reservoir appears to be equal, if not larger, with this one. Although gas time, it seems to vary in terms of how long it takes to fill. So that's kind of hard to say. One was about roughly, what was it, 20 seconds? One was 28 seconds. That could just be differences in, I don't know, error when I'm measuring it. Um, it's, so it's, again, this is just a small sample. It's difficult to tell. And then finally, the thing that matters most to, to folks is going to be how do they actually perform in the rifle. And it, again, it seems like this performs a lot better than this one does. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and then um, if there's any other tests or if you think there are any problems with this or anything else you'd like to see uh, that can more validate um, the statements I'm making right now. You know, maybe you're not convinced, maybe you have better luck with these mags than this one right here. Um, if so, um, let me know and I can try to test that to see if uh, maybe there was something that was flawed in here. But um, so far, I um, feel like these are better. Alright, thanks a lot folks. See you next time.